which he here we go. Um, it seems to be working now. Before it gave me a message, um, internet connection unstable. We are here um, after the day two in Pinedale. Very fine day of racing, pretty much perfect conditions. Cold morning, a little bit of north wind, then slowly wake, warming up um, towards the daytime. And um, no wind when the teams came back. Uh, I went out to mile 12 uh, to take some videos and take some pictures. Um, gave me a good viewing of uh, most of the teams. And then we headed back to about six mile. And um, well, Jerry, the numbers game, quite a few, quite a few change ups today. So um, over to you. Yeah, quite a few change up today. Really not to be, you know, it's kind of kind of to be expected sometimes. That's the one thing you can count on in stage racing wise. It's always going to be changing you know, from day to day until they kind of level out and separate in groups. Possibly we might have four different groups going from now. Um, you have your first three, top three, we are within five minutes. Then you have four to the 10, positions four to 10 in a five minute gap, 11 to 16 also, and then there's 17 to 24. So it's kind of four groups of racing so far as today. But as much as you saw change today, you could very well see to change again by day four. So anything's really kind of up in the air, but I mean, good thing that the mother nature is looking down on us. So it looks like you better bring your lawn chair tomorrow, Sebastian, and sunscreen. sunscreen so yeah, I'm going to have a little. It's definitely happened today. <laughs> <laughs> Sunglasses, right. Um, a little bit of a stat difference between this year and last year. Annie and Lena are one and two again, almost exactly the same times that they had last year for similar conditions. And then uh, Austin Forty, he was 10 minutes faster than he was last year. He got ninth place last year and, and uh, fifth place today. Jake Robinson was 13 minutes faster than he was last year. And he got moved up from 16th to 6th. Dave Torgerson, the Speed Trooper B team, was like 13 minutes faster. Um, Bruce Magnuson was eight minutes faster, moving up to place number eight instead of 11th last year. Rachel Courtney, now she wasn't here last year, but she was here a year before. And um, she was five minutes faster. And then she had today's time in ninth place, but she was fourth place for the same course two years ago. So our speeds have definitely picked up. We saw a little bit of speed pick up when we first had the changeover a few years ago from the longer stages to the short ones. And it seems like now they're just getting just a little bit faster every year. You know, the question is how much faster than they, can they be? Um, let me see, the big big difference between this year and last year in the Pinedale stays was Ryan Bieber. He was 28 minutes faster this year, moving up into 11th place. So, you know, I mean, sometimes this Pine, Pinedale stays is good for people. Sometimes it's a little too much for on the way back because it kind of lulls them to sleep there on those little rolling hills and it's all exposed country and a big bright sunshiny day if you're not used to running in a lot of this intense sun that could play a part in some some people's races again tomorrow um we haven't seen any splits yet but uh hans got moved right way up there today which was good to see um what did you see out there for their yeah, dogs so when, when, when i talked to hans um before today's stage he regretted taking nine dogs yesterday and said ah, i wish i would have taken 10. so today after the stage um, when we had a very nice meet and greet here in, in pinedale um he was like oh maybe this was not bad after all um after seeing how well his team did today so his team looked super fluid um we passed through about three miles before the finishing line and they looked uh, incredibly solid out there so did most of the other teams. Um, I mean, it looked beautiful. There was no other way um, than to put it. Conditions looked pretty much perfect. Hans did talk about of um, he would have liked to run booties, but at these speeds, he opted to to not go with booties. So I mean, those are pretty high speeds when you when you look at 15 miles an hour. I mean, all the way down to uh, 16th place, Grand Beck, it's 14 miles plus average. So that's pretty stunning. Yeah, yeah, you're too many years ago, you know, you're 14, 3, 14, 5, would have won every stage just about, of course, at the 50 mile length. Um, J.R. Anderson's time today, he moved down a few places, but uh, last year's time, he's only a minute slower than last year's time, and he was in fourth place here last year, so 
pretty much the same kind of indications. Maybe a little bit more wind last year, a little bit more north wind last year, but it's just interesting to see what they'll do day, you know, year to year like that with pretty much the same conditions. Everybody's got different training. Um, how did Austin Forney look today out there on the trail? He's coming so out of some impressive. Yeah, yeah no, and, and he's definitely moved up in the standings compared to the last years, and, and he looked solid out there. Well, that's great. I know he's got a couple of young dogs and kind of an uh, experienced and inexperienced mix on these teams. So they appear to me just from camera wise to really look like a well-connected team. Um, it's nice to see Lena move up there. I'm sure they were pleased with that run. That was a good interview. Yeah, so, you know, it's uh, it's it's the usual culprits up front. Um, you know, Cassie, Cassie Rivest, you know, that's a really, really nice showing um, for her first race. Um, looks her brother is lining her out well with the dogs. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, she's getting very comfortable in that on that uh, jockey seat, that was really good to see. Um, I was glad to see Rachel, like I said, move up there. I knew she could. I had hoped that today Cassie yeah. um, would take a goal. She was today. yesterday. So tomorrow's another day of dog racing. Anything can happen. There you go. There you go. Talk somebody into doing that. Yeah, well, um, I, the connection was a little um, wonky here right now. Oh, hang on, I gotta, I gotta stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Oh man, my phone didn't let me stop it. I could have stopped the recording. 